Another Coleman scout would be huge for him in the finals of the US. Hey, Richard, guess what? Yes. We got Metcalf. We got Humphrey. No. All right. And they were both world team members last year. They sure were. They were teammates last year. Now yep. they're fighting each other. Yep. Humphrey was a world team member at 61. Metcalf at 66. Well, 60. But it's now yep. 61. You're right. I'm just it's busting 60. you up because I love you. Up, he was also a world team member in 2011. Him being uh, Humphrey, 2010, Metcalf was on the world team uh, out in Russia. So both of these guys have been on two world teams. Both of these guys have all kinds of experience. They're both seasoned veterans who've been overseas and performed. Yeah, and uh, with Humphrey, Humphrey, the guy going up, interesting to see how he'll make the transition to this weight class. I mean, it, it, it's sort of strategy for him. You know, because he can make 61, but it's the non-Olympic weight uh, for the, you know, freestyle weight class. Right. So he wants to be on that Olympic team, and 65 right. should be the weight he has to Obviously, do Obviously, so why not get so, there this year, yeah, so, test your ground, get used to it. And, you know, with the whole split trials thing, that allows him, if he doesn't make it at 65, he can go back to 61. So that's, that's sort of where it is, and it allows him to have time to adjust his weight accordingly. But I'm excited to see him up at 65, see what he can do. Well, it's looked good to this point. Yeah, Made his way here. He sure has. Let's take a gander at the bracket, too, and see how his path went. I think he had a pretty big win. Oh, I saw him beat Molinero. He had a, a, a good match. Ball over Molinero, 10-0, I think. So let's see, Metcalf came in. Metcalf beat Chase Pammy in the quarters to advance here, and Humphrey Took out Molinero in the quarterfinals. That's right. Quarters. So, waiting on these two horses to come out of their stable. TV timeout. We're not taking any timeouts over here, Rich. Can I call you Rich? If you would like. Would you prefer me to call you Richard? You can call me whatever you Can want. I call you Dick? No. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, people, you know, Richard, Dick, sometimes that, yeah, that happens. We'll call you, we'll stick with Richard because that's how it is. That's really what we call you. Talk about these matches. They're just awesome. Twitter just blowing up. Look at this. Three seconds ago, seven seconds ago, 16 seconds ago, 59 seconds ago, one, 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 one minute, two minutes, two minutes, two, 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 three, three, three. A lot of people tuning in, it seems like, and we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Richard Immel and Mark Bader here on mat number one. The 2014 U.S. Open, we've been here all week. We've had veterans, we've had little kids, we've had seniors, which is here. We've had juniors, we've had Fila juniors, we've had cadets, we've had literally Every age group that wrestles in the world has taken place here. And we're getting it finishing up tonight and tomorrow night with the best of the best, our senior level athletes. Here we go, the man Metcalf coming to the mat. Things you gotta watch out for him. He's got that left side left high crotch. Uh, high well, he's crotch. got a single leg to the other side though. He's got all kinds of stuff. Yeah, but, I mean, those are his two- Bread and butters, go-to's. Bread and butters, go-to's, sure. yeah. Gas tank. I mean, beyond belief from him, and, and he's I, gonna wear you out. He gets a ba not a bad rep, he gets the wrong rep. He's he does. a really nice guy, he's he a really funny is. guy, and when you take him off the mat and take his intensity away, which is just focus and tunnel vision, super awesome guy. Same can be said about Reese Humphrey, Definitely. great dude. And and Reese, a little bit different, he's more flashy. He's got the upper body throws, the what? inside trips, the what? Yeah. That was Martin on the call. That was Reese Humphrey back in, shoot, 07 I think. And we're underway though, Metcalf in the red, Humphrey in the blue. I think the key here is for Metcalf to watch the, the early Humphrey storm, because Humphrey, he tends to pick up early leads in his matches. Uh, I mean, and, and that's just the truth of it. And you know, when he wrestles a guy like the guy from Iran, he was up in the quarters of the world. Same, same thing as Anthony. One point away from Tech. And then same thing at World Cup, he was a point away from a Tech and the guy just kept grinding back and grinding back and ended up beating Reese. Yeah, very close at the end of the match. So if Met, if it goes close, I think it leans towards Metcalf. And we see hum Humphrey looking for a left-hand high crotch of his own. And Metcalf takes one right back at him. Metcalf has a wrist and an elbow on the left side, fires off that high crotch, Humphrey stops it, and Humphrey 
like you said, he's got some more flash. He's got right. throws, man. This guy can high amplitude. He's, he calls it Freco. Freestyle and Greco, and he grew up wrestling both. You know, he comes from a family of wrestlers, and um, they're going to go passive. First passive on Humphrey. Well, looks like and he's and got also, something in his eye. Along that same same line, Metcalf, he tends to give up some points early on in his match. And here we go, low-level shot. Humphrey in on the legs. Metcalf able to get those hips back, defend the shot, and get back up to his stance. Controls the inside ties now. And they're going to go finger fighting on the left side. Referee's literally grabbed him and ripped him apart. And now they're going passive red. I don't know if I agree, but they're going to call it. Maybe it was for the finger locking. Well, One on each guy. Well, the reasoning behind that is because they have to pick someone at two minutes if it's 0-0. Zero, zero. So gotcha. it's now. even if it's one apiece, and then they can pick. And there's that left hand high crotch. Metcalf gets in his second or third attempt, puts Humphrey on his butt. Humphrey defending, and now he's going to have to turn down and give it up. Metcalf's going to look to get more. Might he jump over top? Reese able to get that leg down. Good flexibility from him. Metcalf legging on the left side, it looks like. And that's a weird position. He's got Reese's foot up on his opposite hip. Referee blows it dead. We'll bring it back to the center. Minute nine to go in the first period. And a 2 0 lead yeah, for Brent Metcalf. You just got to roll with it, you know? No matter what you got. If you got something hooked, just go with it. Yeah. Just, just, just go, man. We got a minute left here in this first period. And Brent Metcalf's really controlled the pace. Ladies and gentlemen, this semifinal bout will feature two very tough young men. Great histories for the Minnesota Storm first. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing red, this is Jordan Hall. His opponent will be... 40 seconds to go. 2-0 lead for Metcalf. He's got Humphrey underneath him, his head underneath. Mark Stenberg. Left-hand attempt again. Humphrey knows that's coming. And he shoots a low single from the outside. Metcalf defense, tries to get an angle. Reese squares up and avoids danger. I mean, you know these guys have to be extremely familiar with each other. I would imagine they've worked out in the room more than once. Yep. Over on that one, Rick Metcalf, 27, was a member of the 2010 and 2013. And we got short time, five seconds to go in the period. Humphrey flings Metcalf off of him, and that'll be it. 2-0, and Reese is going to pick a contact up. I thought he's going to put it right back in his eye, but, you know, they might be getting ringworm on your eye. You don't want that. No. Can you get ringworm on your eyeball? Probably. You know. On your eyeball? Probably. I don't know. It probably hurt. I, that wouldn't feel good. <laughs> so what do you think so far? I think right now it's leaning in Metcalf's favor. Reese really is going to need to change the direction of this match, I think. Well, you know, he hasn't been able to really – Get to his tie. Yeah, find find um, an answer or a way to get through. Go left, go right, go around, go under. You know, and Metcalf right back in on his shot. Humphrey tried to sit the shoulder, not going to be able to. Metcalf in position, and they're going to give him two. Two points for Brent Metcalf makes it 4 0, 20 seconds into this second frame, and he's got that gut locked up. Reese defending. Metcalf gets him up. They're going to stop it, put them back up on their feet. Two minutes, 30 seconds to go. Facebook, your friends let them know they can watch this event on the Universal Sports tonight and tomorrow night. Humphrey tries to attack to the left side. Metcalf defends again, circles behind him. Will be another takedown for Brett Metcalf. He's up 6 0, three takedowns. Ooh, yeah, got him. that leg up on the back, has it. Oh, and the referee's going to stop it. Huh, looked like he was. Yeah, like I was mentioning earlier, whenever that foot starts to turn out like that, uh, they, they really tend to stop that. So it wasn't because of the lack of scoring opportunity, maybe no. as much as it was a dangerous position. Exactly. Roger that. Roger that. 10-4. Well, 6-0, but, you know, still. Ooh, Reese got him off balance momentarily. Metcalf. Regains his footing. And again, you know it's coming and you still can't stop it. That's when you know somebody's good at something. And another takedown for Brent Metcalf makes it 8-0. And the turn makes it wow. 10, and that's going to be it. Brent Metcalf, tech fall over Reese Humphrey here at 65 kilos. And yeah, he just put on a show. He just put on a show. Really opened it up in the second period. He was 2-0 at the half, correct? Or maybe was it 4-0? 
whatever. Uh, yeah, he poured it, it on all six points in a minute and a half in the second period. And, and Metcalf. Yeah, he's going to have the winner.